Operator Overloading. This tutorial will be a quick insight into operator overloading and follows from the last tutorial which provided an overview on C-sharp operators through the demonstration of code examples. This tutorial will provide one code example. This will be a short tutorial to highlight that it is possible to overload operators in C-sharp. The purpose of this application is to create a new rectangle which will contain the dimensions of two other rectangles added together. So we could encapsulate this functionality in a method that accepts two rectangle objects as parameters and returns a new rectangle containing the sum of the two rectangles dimensions. But there is a cleaner solution which encapsulates the same functionality using C-sharp operator overloading. We are going to overload the plus operator for the rectangle objects. And then simply add the two rectangle objects together by implementing the plus operator for this purpose. Once we have overloaded the plus operator for the rectangle class, we will be able to simply apply the plus operator between two rectangle objects. So let's first create our rectangle class. Let's define two integer public fields at the top of the class, which will contain the width and height dimensions of rectangle objects derived from this class. The fact that these fields are public means their values can be accessed from code outside the rectangle class. Let's then create the constructor for the rectangle class. The constructor must be given the same name as the class. The constructor must not return a value. This constructor will accept two parameters, namely integer parameters to store the rectangle's width and height. Within the constructor, code is written to assign the parameter values to the public fields of this class. Right, so we want to write code that will enable the overloading of the plus operator for rectangle objects. So this code will basically look like a method, but in order for this code to enable operator overloading, it must obey certain rules. We must use the static keyword, followed by the type of object we wish to return as the result of the plus operation applied between the two rectangle operands. Then we must follow this with the operator keyword. And then follow this with the operator symbol that represents the operator we wish to overload. In this case, it is the plus operator. Now we want to add two objects of the rectangle type together, so this operator overload method will accept two objects of type rectangle as parameters. We'll name the first parameter rect1 and the second parameter rect2. Right, now we are ready to implement our add operation code. This code will be called when the plus operator is applied between any two objects instantiated from the rectangle class. And the code is very simple. We simply instantiate a new object of type rectangle. In the construction of this object, we pass in the added width dimensions of the two rectangles passed into the operator overload method to the width parameter of the rectangle we are creating. We also pass in the added height dimension of the two rectangle objects passed to the operator overload method to the object of type rectangle that we are creating. Once the new rectangle object has been created, we simply write the code to return the new rectangle object. We have now successfully implemented operator overloading. Right, let's write the code to test this in our main method. So we'll first create two objects both of type rectangle. The first rectangle named rect1 has a width dimension of 12 and a height dimension of 10. The second rectangle named rect2 has a width dimension of 5 and a height dimension of 2. So let's create code that will appropriately add these two rectangles together and create a new object of type rectangle through an addition operation. So because we have enabled the plus operator to be overloaded for any object of type rectangle, we are able to add the dimensions of rect1 to rect2 by simply applying the plus operator between the two rectangle objects and return a value from this operation to an object reference variable of type rectangle. This rectangle object reference variable is named rect result. Let's write the code to output a simple narrative showing the addition operation applied to two rectangle objects along with the result of the add operation. And the result is as expected. The new rectangle rect result contains a width dimension of 17 which is 12 plus 5, and a height dimension of 12, which is 10 plus 2. I hope you have enjoyed this short video. This code can be downloaded from GitHub. Details are below in the description.
Please hit the thumbs up icon if you feel you have gained value from this tutorial, and please subscribe. If you are already subscribed, please hit the bell icon to be notified of future content, which will be coming soon. I look forward to your comments. Thank you.